Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we'll learn how to duplicate objects around a circle. To duplicate an object around a circle, the first thing we need to do is make a circle. So let's get the ellipse tool, and while holding down shift, we'll click and drag to make a perfect circle. Then, just for fun, I'm going to make my circle blue. Next, we need to make the object we want to duplicate around the circle. For this tutorial, I'm going to make a simple triangle. With the triangle tool selected, I'll hold down shift while clicking and dragging to make a perfect triangle. Next, I'm going to select the move tool. With the move tool, I'll reposition the triangle so it's exactly in the center of the circle and above it. Next, we're going to change the rotation point of the triangle so it will rotate around the circle. To do this, we'll come to the contextual toolbar and press on the rotation crosshair icon. Now the rotation point for the triangle is visible. What we want to do is change this rotation point so it's rotating around the center of the circle. To do this, we just need to click and drag on the crosshair and bring it down to the center of the circle. Now as we rotate the triangle, it will rotate around the center of the circle. We now need to make a duplicate copy of our object so we can begin duplicating it around the circle. We'll duplicate the triangle by pressing Command or Control J. Then we're going to rotate our duplicate copy by a precise amount. We can do this by using the Transform panel. Inside the Transform panel, we can choose how much we want to rotate the object. The key to duplicating objects around a circle is to rotate them by a factor of 360. We need to do this because a circle is 360 degrees and we want to have even spacing in between all of our duplicate objects. Fortunately, Affinity Designer can do the math for us. All we need to do is divide 360 by however many duplicate objects we want to make. In this example, let's have six duplicate triangles going around the circle. For this to work, we'll come into the rotation dialog box and type in 360 divided by 6. Affinity Designer has solved the equation for us and rotated our triangle 60 degrees. Now all we need to do is duplicate the triangle again and Affinity Designer will rotate it by the exact same amount. So I'm going to press Command or Control J and now we have another duplicate triangle that's been rotated 60 degrees. I'll do this three more times. We've now made six duplicate triangles going around this circle. We no longer need the circle, so if you want, you can delete it. To do this, just press on the circle and then click Delete on the keyboard. As a final tip for you, we can group all of these triangles and then move the group around all at once. To do this, just click and drag and when you have a selection box going around all of the triangles, you can release and all of them will be selected. To group them, we can come up to the contextual toolbar and press Group, or we can just press Command or Control G. You'll want to note that the Group and Ungroup options will only be available if you have the Move tool selected. Now that we have all of our duplicate objects in one group, we can move them all at the same time. And if you want, you can also use this circle above the group to rotate it. You now have all the skills you need to make duplicate objects around a circle.